and then press the horn like that. And I have filed. Oh, hit the horn again. Um, Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see out there, where are you? There, it's getting rather hot. So I've covered the winter in the van with diesel heater. So when it's cold, frosty, all that sort of thing, diesel heater does its thing. Uh, sorry, the. 3D printers just starting up, that's what that noise is. But anyway, um, yeah, I've covered the, the cold weather, so now it's getting really hot and I'm fed up with like, you know when you park up in the sun and it's like roasting hot. So I'm gonna make a solution for it, hopefully anyway. So here we go, we'll go I'm gonna show you, little, 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 little. can't even talk, I'm gonna show you how it's done, hopefully. Right, so we're in the workshop, garage, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's a bit of a mess. I'm just printing out a duct in the hope that it's going to fit for this little project. But these have turned up from AliExpress. Uh, I think I can't remember how much they were. Not a lot of money. Um, excuse my hands, by the way. I've just been bongoing. Um, got some rocker switches, which I've just put one in here. There you go. Rocker switches. And they take. At 250 volts, 6 amps, or 125 volts, 10 amps. Obviously, we've only got uh, 12 volts, but they're good for around, what, 10 amps, something like that. But we're not going to be pulling anywhere near that. This is the other little piece that I've bought. It's a microcomputer temperature controller. 12 volt. That's the uh, classy packaging. And that is the microcomputer there basically just a little temperature controller um, 12 volt so you set the temperature that you want it to sort of cut in and out at. I probably should have paused that actually before I started filming so sorry about the noise um, yeah you, you set the temperature that you want it to turn on and off at basically there's a little temperature probe thing there and yeah away you go so I've got to fit that in somewhere don't know where we're going to do it um, and yeah, and power these, which are also from AliExpress. So I've got two. I'm hoping to just need one, but I've got two just in case. They're 12 volt uh, brushless sleeve bearing fans. I think they're for a PC, but the point is they're 12 volt. So that's going to isolate the power to the temperature controller so it only works when we want to use it. And then that's obviously going to exhaust the hot air out of the cab. Now, let me show you something. So in here, I've temporarily put a, one of the fans in that hole because the recirc on this fan has never worked and I'm never going to use it even if it did work. You know, the little, that thing where you can recirculate the air. So I've taken the box out from underneath. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, I've just clamped a, a ground on for a minute and I've got a little 12 volt here. So I'm just going to bang that on there for a minute. That starts. Oh, it's falling off. Hang on, let me just prop it up a bit better. There we go. Just sort of rammed it in there. Um, so that is basically just exhausting all the air from inside the bongo, which at the minute is, you can't even see that, 37 degrees in here. Obviously, it's sat in the in the sun, so I'm just going to leave that running for a bit and see if it actually brings the temperature down at all or not, or if it makes it any more pleasant in there. And this is the box, the research thing, which I've taken out. Um, it never worked, and I couldn't really be bothered to fix it because, like I say, I'm never going to use them. But there's a little flap there, which pulls air from either in this hole or from the front hole and then puts it down through that hole to the fan in the cab. Um, there's a little connector there. I just noticed that the flap, it's like a little servo motor thing. I can't really see, it's not focusing, there you go. It's like a little servo motor, but that arm thing at the bottom, if you can see that, I don't really know if it's focusing or not. No, it's not. Anyway, there's a little fan arm that goes, connects the flap to that motor. And it's just snapped off basically off the, uh, the thing but like i said i'm not going to use it anyway i might repurpose this motor for something else 
in the van but we will see so I'm gonna wait and see what happens with this temperature because the sun is shining so it's pretty warm out here so we'll see what happens so here's the temperature controller the plan was I measured these these dusty blanks um, obviously you get switches and stuff but if you haven't got all the optional extras they just put blanks in there like the, the middle of the blind so hopefully that's going to sit in place of those three blanks because if you look if you can see sorry i'm shocking at filming it should just fit in in there nicely sort of recessed so hopefully that's going to sit there and then you've got control there that's the plan so to get these out i'm pretty sure they just ping out with the old flathead so i thought I might as well film it I'm trying to get them out it looks promising yeah, I think they're just clipped into like an inner shell thing. Oh, something just flew off. Oh, there's another one. There's probably a proper way to do this, but... Oh, there you go. So now I need to figure out how to get these things out. I think they just pull out, but I might need some uh, pliers or something just to grab them with, so... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I might need to just pry them out with a ply, pry bar or some pliers or something, I don't know. Oh, there's a little catch there. I don't know, I'll have a look and I'll get back to you. So you, what you've got to do is pick these little, oh, come on, focus. There's like a flap there, you've got to pull that down and then pull the bottom one up and it should just slide out. It's quite fiddly because when you get the bottom one down, you've got to try and get that one up and pull the whole thing out. So, but that's how you do it anyway. Look at all that grime, that is minging. That's like 20 years worth of filth. But here's a top tip for you. Once you've got like the first one out, you can get your fingers behind and push the flap thing down, he says. It's a lot easier with two hands, but there you go, there's one. And then put your finger underneath, push the other one up. Ugh, it's quite hard to do with one hand. And then press the horn like that. Silly me. There we go. So that's the three thingies out. That's the little catches I was saying about. They sort of just, you got to pick them from the inside. And they sort of just go up and down and catch on the inside. So yeah, that's that. So now I'm going to have to maybe dremel this bit out. And this bit out. Hopefully not too much. And then that should be able to sit in there nicely. I don't want it sat proud. Like you see some people just sort of bag it in and stick it in there with a bit of hot glue. But... Not really a fan of that. I want it to sort of recess in if I can. So I'll let you know how I get on. Right, update. I've been here with a hacksaw blade, cutting all the the bottom edges out because they need to be flush with the the outside bit. And I've also been up the sides, up the top, trimmed all that back. And then I have filed. Oh, I'll hit the horn again. Um, yeah, I've filed all the edges and stuff just to try and make them a little bit smoother But now once that goes in there just drop the sensor in that should There you go that just slots in there nicely Look at all this dust. This is minging Really need to clean this bongo, but yeah, I mean obviously it needs a little bit of adjustment But that fits pretty well, I think Right, so here's the fan mentioned it earlier it's 120 mil it's like a basic pc fan and what i've done is i've downloaded this off tinterweb and i've printed it on the 3d printer and it's basically a duct that connects to the uh the thing the fan you just turn that took 13 hours to print that um these are all like supports to sort of hold the top up because when it prints it's it obviously can't print in thin air, so it needs to print over something. Same with that, but these just like peel off. But yeah, if you're into 3D printing, you'll know. Uh, let's just turn the motors off. There we go, so that means I can move that now. But I'm gonna pull this off of the, the uh, bed and see if it fits. So I've got all the support stuff out. Um, I printed this like, 
on the fastest setting that I could, so it's rough, but it done it quick. So I didn't want to like spend ages doing a really nice print when it wouldn't fit for what I need. So like I said, it's rough for now. So if it all works out, should then we'll reprint it on the on the proper settings. It will take a bit longer, but it will be all all nice then. These were the supports, so I've wasted loads of filament just putting that in because obviously. That was sort of inside there just to hold the, the roof up. So you just cut all that out. But yeah, so the other thing is I've got some M5 bolts and a threading tool. So there's an M5 threading bit on there. I've just tried one hole just to make sure it works right and it does. So all I have to do is chuck that in the hole and then just sort of screw it in and it will cut a thread into the, the fan housing and then like that and then when I go to put the bolts in they'll just thread straight in like that so you don't need like nuts on the other side or anything whereas before they were just sort of straight holes and you'd have to put nut and bolt each side which is a bit, bit annoying and they don't fit there anyway so yeah just going to cut a thread in there I've done the same to one of these holes as well this one you probably can't I don't know if you'll focus or not you kind of see it there's a, a thread in there so then that will marry up with that and fit lovely. But also, I've checked that the fittings, fittings, the size correction, whatever, that they're all basically that it fits, which it does. So that will eventually sit there and then air will go in there or the other way, whatever, and it will duct it to where we need it to go. It's only a prototype at the minute, but once we're, once we've proved that it works, we'll do it properly. So yeah, I'm going to thread all these, see if it fits on the bongo, blah, 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 and get back to you. Right. What I'm thinking is, basically, I put that there, and then I was going to print like a blank there to take the coolant reroute thing. Um, like to blank that hole off. But this just seems a bit pointless, like this duct thing. I've already broke it as well. Um, so what I'm thinking is I was going to, drill and tap the uh, the top screw holes um, and fit it there and then obviously have a blank there but now what I'm thinking is I might just actually 3D print from scratch like a dual fan thing like a holder so take some measurements for this and I can fix there there down there and there just drill and tap them and then I could make like a a dual Thing there so I have one fan like that pretend the red thing isn't there one there and one there and then that would just completely blank that off I have to make something maybe route, route this through here because obviously there's no grommet there either which is a bit rubbish um, that was supposed to be through it to protect it but it's just obviously slid down so put that somewhere else maybe up through that grommet up there and then route this through here might have to open the hole up a bit and then use that as the fans station maybe I don't know I'm just I'm vibing I'm just playing basically but yeah it'll sit like that and then the other one will sit there and then it should be a lot more effective so I'll have two fans then as well so I'm gonna take some measurements and maybe design something on CAD and then see what we come up with right while I'm here I want to check that these uh, fans are actually pulling what they say they are so on there it says 0.5 amps, I just want to double check that. So I've just got the uh, ground for the fan on the battery, just fire script on. I've got this set to DC amps, and I've taken the red one out of there and put it in that one, because that's for amps. And then I'm going to connect this onto there and make the circuit with this one to there. So it will go through the leads, through the meter, then up the other lead, through there, through the fan, down to the ground. So, then we'll be able to see what it's actually pulling. So, give me two seconds, I'm just going to prop this up because I've still only got one hand. Right, so, I've just rammed that in there. So, through the lead, through the meter, out of this lead, onto the red, through the fan. Whoa, that wasn't ideal. Let me just prop that up a bit better, jam it in there. Right, try again. So, we're getting one amp on inrush. 
that's to get the fan started and then 670 odd milliamps so 0.65 basically 0.667 so a bit more than what they're saying it is 0.5 we're getting point, nearly 0.7 so I just have to take that into account when we're uh, working out how long this battery will last with those fans on full travel see if we can use two we're going to use double the amount right so let's start fitting this switch and over a bit sort of chop and change what we're doing but i'm going to while i'm out here i'm just going to start doing other bits because i don't want to sit inside all day and design that duct thing so i'm going to get fitting this and then i'll design that later on so this is the rocker switch that's going to isolate the power to the uh the doobie what's it you know the controller thing so we're going to need a hole we need to get it at that's the widest point of the the thing see the little bit that sticks out on the left so that's the widest bit and that is 20 mil exactly so i'm going to fit a 20 mil hole into the dash and then that will just slide in and then these little uh tab things will hold it in place hopefully so let's go and do that so 20 mil hole done just need to clean the edges off um and then that should go in there yeah that goes in there lovely obviously i'm not going to push it all the way in yet because i've got to connect it but what i'm going to do is i've got this charger thing that i put in a usb charger i'm just going to nick the power off this because it's it's not using anywhere near what what it can so i'm just going to piggyback off of that so i'm just going to take a live from the red so we've got 12 volt out of there Wash that over to the switch and then out of the switch up to the new controller and then we'll just put a ground on there so then it will work lovely right so i've put the red from that one i was saying onto the switch um obviously i've got to route the cable through there but just proving it first um and then i've got this uh black one which i will change for another red so it's all matched up but that's a positive that goes into there uh that's going to go on the other side of the switch so i go through in through the red through the switch what will be red but it's black at the minute into there that powers it and then we've got a ground so we'll just take a ground out of uh, that where you go there so that powers that and then this uh relay thing controller that <clears throat> excuse me switches the ground well i suppose you can switch wherever you want really but it just basically goes in and then it stops until the temperature rises enough to wherever you've set it to to then close that switch and then it lets the power through so whether it's a ground or positive i'm going to do a ground so what i'm going to do is use this link to take a ground from here over to here so ground to s1 so then we've got ground coming in and then through the relay and then out you could run a separate ground if you want but there's so little uh current on this fan that it just doesn't really make sense so I'm just going to go bosh put that in there that will give us our ground and then s2 so that one will run to the ground on the fan so your ground will come in the blue around the loop through the relay and then off to the fan and then we'll get a permanent uh, 12 volt feed to the fan so it'll only work when this shuts basically if that makes any sense and yeah so i'm gonna do a bit of wiring get it all fitted in there and then we'll be away right it's in it's still not sat quite right yet i need to make some adjustments to that so it sits flat because that will just annoy me otherwise but the button's in the thingy's back in um yeah and flick that on don't know what's flashing it it's not, doesn't do that in real life no, it's flashing anyway that's only on the camera for some reason um but yeah, you can't even see. It's, yeah, it's not happy with the camera. But yeah, it shows you uh, what the temperature is now. So 18.6 in the van. And then what the set point is at the bottom. I'll um, I'll show you how to set this up. It'll even be in this video or the next video. Um, how to do all the settings. But basically you hold that. And then you get like a menu of P0, uh, P1, whatever. Oh, just changed something now. Didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, P1, P2, P3, blah, blah, blah. And it's all like what settings you want it to come on at and delays and all that sort of thing. But three quid that was from AliExpress. And I'm pretty impressed. 
But for now, I've run the the temperature sensor down here somewhere. It's sort of fallen down the back. That's my switched ground, so that's going to go to the the fans. Um, so that will just switch on and off as it's needed. And the temperature sensor's up here somewhere. I've lost it now. Hang on. Where's it gone? There it is. It's tangled up in something. Wait, two secs. There it is. Right, so that's the temperature sensor. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. I want it somewhere a bit higher up um, because it'll be cool down here all the time. Well, a lot of the time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do something with that. But let me show you how it works. So that thing there at the minute is showing 22.5, which you can't really see. But that's because I just held it, so it's going to probably go down again in a sec. But the ground, which is that one, that's the switched ground, which goes to the fan, that will not be connected to the negative of the battery, basically, until that temperature sensor uh, goes above a set temperature. I've got it set at 28, I think, at the minute. So if I just put my hand around, around that, you'll see it go up. So 22, 23, 24, 25. You'll see the little light come on. It should do. It really doesn't light this camera. So there you go. That's just turned on now. So now, in theory, the fans would turn on these things through that ground. So that's then giving it a negative from the battery to the fans to allow them to run. So that's 30 degrees at the minute because I've just held it and then when it gets back down to 28 or whatever it is I think it's set up sorry about the flashing that's really annoying might be a bit better yeah so when it gets back down it will turn the fans back off then he says there you go 28 degrees it turns back off so that should hopefully be enough to keep it nice and cool and it doesn't look too bad there when you Sort of driving along, it's quite cool. Little gadget. Like I say, I've still got to mess about getting it fixed in there a bit better. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. So we fixed, well, we've wired it. We've had a play with the fan part. But I think this video is dragging on a bit. So what I'm going to do is tonight, I'm going to design the thing. Sorry, I keep burping. Um, I'm going to design the fan holder shroud thing, duct, whatever you want to call it and get that in so we'll do that in a separate episode but for now that is all wired it's ready to go so all we need to do is just mount the fans and probably change the settings a little bit to what we want and then make sure it works just in time for the uh the sun because it's a bit cooler today but a few clouds but it's starting to warm up it's may at the minute yeah things are starting to get a bit warm so hopefully we'll have it done in time so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe below if you want to see the next bit with the fans and everything working. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.